Following on from the big month of JRPGs that was July, that saw not only a Digimon game, but a Nintendo's next big JRPG, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. August is looking to be a little bit more relaxed, but this doesn't mean that it doesn't have anything interesting coming out. So let's have a look at what JRPG or JRPG inspired games are coming out in August 2022. First up, we have Tyrant's Blessing. The Tyrant appeared one day, promising a paradise, a land without war, suffering or death. But all you needed to do was let yourself die. <laughs> Strange. But a few scattered living beings still stand before this terrible horde. Tyrant's Blessing is a JRPG inspired turn-based tactical RPG, or SRPG, however you want to call it, that tries to be something in between, say, Final Fantasy Tactics and Into the Breach. A bit of a mix there. They say it's more about the tactics than creating, like, powerful soldiers like you might do in some of the other games but we'll see you never know i mean overpowering is something we all uh, like to do in jrpgs it's being developed by mercury game studio published by freedom games and being released on august the 8th for switch and pc Next, we have Themysia. The kingdom of Hermes is falling into an age of calamity, and all that stands between life and the demise of this kingdom is Corvus. Themysia is kind of like a Victorian era-esque, plague-ear-styled action RPG that rips heavily on the Souls formula. So, this JRPG-inspired game is being developed by Overbody Studio and published by Team 17 of all people. And it's coming out on August 9th for PS5, Xbox Series X and PC. Next we have Fallen Legion, Rise to Glory and Fallen Legion Revenants. This, the obscure Fallen Legion series is a game of kind of like fast-paced side scrolling JRPGs. It's actually made by an Indonesian development team called Yummy Yummy Yummy. And they're actually releasing the two most recent games in that series, Fallen Legion Rise and Revenant, thanks to NIS in a dual pack. And this is set to release on the 23rd of August for PC and the 26th for Xbox, all types, and PS5. If I bring a little glory to myself in the process, so much the better. My country was dying. The consequence of building an empire on conquest and then conquering everything. We all have our roles to play in this grand opera. We must turn the people against Ivor. I know who I'm fighting for. So many lives are in the balance, Lucian. We can't afford any missteps. G-Universe, a place where many stories come together. That's where the break happens. That's where a new story is constructed. It's a distorted world. Next up, we have SD Gundam Battle Alliance. The next game in the massive Gundam franchise is hitting shelves on August 25th. And this one is an action RPG where you get to play as the wonderful SD or super deformed Gundams. This cutified Gundam game looks to be really good. And possibly will be even more fun to play. Being released by Bandai Namco for PS5 and 4, Xbox Series X, 1, Switch, PC, and it's coming, as I said, on August 25th. Powerful visuals, dynamic motion, combo action. Hit combo with various weapons. 
Charge the SPA recast gauge and unleash your special attack. Each mobile suit has its own powerful special move. This is the new generation of SD Gundam action. Develop new unit with the capitals and blueprints you obtain in the field. Enhance your mobile suit to your liking by improving its performance and reinforcing it with expansion parts. A free platoon joint front that can be enjoyed up to three players. Form a platoon up to three players with friends or the computer. And go out to challenge a powerful enemy as a team. Relive Gundam Works. Complete distorted stories of break missions. Register true stories, true missions. To correct the altered stories and restore the authentic histories. And the mysterious mobile suit descending behind the break phenomenon. Gundam Latreia. What is the true meaning of those who create distorted history? Next up, we have Soul Hackers 2. The SMT franchise is massive and only keeps getting bigger, whether it be the recent mainline SMT5 game or the Persona series finally hitting Switch. But there was another game that had a bit of a cult following, and that's Soul Hackers, which we are finally getting the sequel to in Soul Hackers 2. And so who will win the war between the Yatagarasu and the Phantom Society in this game? Well, you get to find out on August 26th. It's being created and released by Atlas and coming to PS5 for Xbox Series X, one of PC. <laughs> せっかく殺したのだから、ちゃんと死んだままでいてもらわないと困る。きっとまだ間に合う。君たちは間に合わない。運命は耐えられない。やめて言わないで。相手は最強の様なんだ。勝てない喧嘩は売らないようにしよう
ぞあなたまで私の手を取ってそうすればもう一度やり直すことができる私はリンゴ情報の海から生まれた新しい知性体そして世界の終わりを止めるもの Next up, we have Lapusa Ragnarok. This is one of NIS's earliest SRPGs, Lapusa. It's getting a lovely re release for PC. I believe this is actually the first time we're getting this version, as Lapusa Ragnarok originally came out on PSP. Whereas before that, the, a, a lesser version, Lapusa Tactics, came out on PS2. But that, that version came out everywhere. This game boasts all the fun and wackiness you'd expect from an NIS RPG, and we can expect to see it on PC in August 30th. Brie's on a roll today. How many does that make now? Yes! Demons? In a place like this? Consoles? Next we have Rhapsody, a musical adventure. They are on fire this month when it comes to re-releasing old games. This time we're getting Rhapsody, in which we take the role of Cornette as she sets off to find her Prince Charming. Yes, this is exactly as corny as it sounds. But is that a bad thing? Surprisingly not. And as I said, yet another NIS game coming out on August the 30th for PC. The in the world will help me find my way to you I know that you're out there and I'm waiting for you Hey, you shut up! My heart is burning, overheating with a raging fire The prince I do admire, he fills me with desire Dear Ferdinando, I am here to save you from this curse Let his love quench my thirst I know I'll find him And he will be the man Next up, we have Pretty Percent NIS Classics Volume 3. So don't fret if you don't have a PC, or your PC is just like a block of bricks with a sticker on it and you pretend it makes the BP noises. But if you have a Switch, both of the previous games I just mentioned are getting a dual release on said Switch, and in the version of the NIS Classics Volume 3. And that is also coming August 30th, but for North America, the EU will have to wait a couple more days. Oh wait, there's more, dude. Anyway, that's August games, and if you know of any more, as always, please feel free to put them in the comments, and enjoy gaming! <laughs>